So last night was the first real snow of the season. It wasn't a lot. It was only about an inch or two, uh, but it was definitely enough to completely cover my solar panels. So I thought I'd grab my soft push broom and see if I could reach up there, get some snow off. And looks like I don't have very good reach. Um, I can really only just get at the very edge of the solar panels. Uh, so yeah, didn't feel like I was really going anywhere fast, just getting the edge of the panels here. So I thought perhaps it might make a little bit more sense to maybe go get a stepladder. So I grabbed my eight foot stepladder, set that up and started uh, clearing the, the snow from the panels. Um, it's nice and level and uh, you know, I really didn't feel any less safe than I would um, during the summer. Just of course being careful going up and down the ladder, just watching my step. Uh, but I could really only uh, get at one or two panels at a time before I'd have to move the ladder again. So. Uh, a little bit pokey clearing off the panels here. We'll do a little time lapse just to speed that up. And sure enough, I was able to get at uh, the entire bottom row of solar panels, all eight of them. And it's not perfect. You can see there's still a little bit of snow on there, um, but I did get all the way uh, to the top of the bottom row of panels. Uh, so now what we we'll want to do is we'll take a look at the software, my monitoring software for looking at how much power uh, the panels produce and see how much of a difference this made. So here we are now in the Enlighten Manager uh, software for taking a look at the information from my microinverters and my solar panels. And this morning we were not making any power until after the sun came up. Uh, absolutely nothing until about 9 a.m. And then even though the solar panels are completely covered with snow, um, a little light was getting through. Uh, one watt, uh, almost nothing but enough to uh, actually have the inverters on. And next you can see I started clearing the, the panels off starting from the center, working my way to the right and then over to the left. And you can see that represented. Uh, finally, a little bit of sun coming out. Uh, I was very, very overcast this morning. As I come forward, here's that little bump up. Now the sun came out from behind the clouds a bit. And this is interesting. If we look right in here, these couple of solar panels are a little lower. I thought maybe I didn't clear enough snow, but then I remembered, uh-uh, that's actually that shadow of the pine tree moving across here. It's just much, much less noticeable because it's uh, more of an overcast day. But if we kind of go back and forth through the time, actually right here, uh, about 11.15, it was the, the sunniest so that shadow had the most contrast to it. And actually, um, at that point, I'm even starting to get a little bit of power uh, into the solar panels that, that they're still covered with snow, so they're making something. Now, of course, it's, it's hardly anything compared to the solar panels that are not covered in snow. Uh, definitely a huge difference here between you know 150 watts and 10 watts. So uh, definitely, definitely worth getting the snow off of those solar panels. I'm really hoping that, uh, you know, when the sun comes out and it warms up a little bit, uh, those lower, lower solar panels, they'll, they'll warm up and they'll give some space for the snow on the upper panels to just slide right down off the roof, uncovering them all. I hope you like my videos. If you do, please subscribe. Please check out 300mpg.org for all my blog updates. And until next time, stay charged up.